Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Gina and welcome to my channel. I'm continuing the 365 somethings 2022 and it's also my second entry for Fastastic Friday. There's more information about these two challenges in the description below. I put the links to their um, pages. It's very cool. So today I'm starting off with 135 GSM people. I um, using my jagged edge ruler. I forget what you call it to get some rough edges. So I just spritz my paper with um, water just to moisten it, and then I'm adding acrylic paint because I found when I was trying to add it without moistening the paper, it was a bit difficult for me to spread, and I wanted it kind of like a watercolor look. Just adding some nice dreamy color to the page <laughs> I felt that wasn't enough so I decided to go over the page after it dried with the same colors but with a brayer to give it some more grit and texture. So this is the face that I have to draw today. Um, I have him copied in black and white again and he's on the side next to me. And I am trying really hard to get all the proportions correct. It's difficult for me to draw a face that looks exactly like another face. So bear with me and we'll see how this goes. I've never drawn a mouth open before so this is particularly very difficult for me I really wasn't sure how to um, it was hard for me to get the proportions right in terms of making adjustments for the open mouth and then where the chin supposed to go you know it was, it was really hard so and I know proportionately his you know it didn't seem it didn't come out exactly proportionately correct but you know when you reach a certain point I just was not in the mood to start all over because sometimes when I start over it, it turns out worse so I just made minor adjustments as I went along you know making little notes in my head so for future I would try to do differently kind of thing <laughs> So at this point, I know that his mouth is too close to his chin. I know his nose is too long and too far away from his eyes. You know, I know certain things, but I just, as I said, I made up my mind. This is it. I'm staying with it. So now I'm going to trace over his entire form with a charcoal pencil. And I'm using a blending stump for the first time in my life. And when I first put it to the page, I was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Why did I never use this before? <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my gosh. I think the next one I want to try, probably as well as, I want to try using a Q-tip and see the difference in them, you know? Oh my gosh, this tool is the bomb, diggity bomb.
Now it's time to draw his glasses, which I actually have never drawn either in my life. So I was very hesitant, but I decided to really just focus on the proportions and where everything could possibly be going and work out the angles. And it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. So yay, thank you Jesus. So now I'm blending it. And then I was thinking, this is me trying to make it, you know, kind of blurry behind the eyes. It kind of looks like shades, but I don't know. It's supposed to be glasses. So I'm just giving it some highlights because it's supposed to be reflecting as well. And then I decided, hey, why not put some highlights all over him? And I'm using my Uniball um, pen for this. So I'm still trying to make small adjustments, looking at the picture, looking at him, see where I need to fix. And then I decided to add some drips because I found that the page was still lacking. So now I'm just adding some drips of the same color that I added on the, to the page. And I quite like how that looks. And while I'm doing it, I'm this is me blowing on the page. <laughs> and then I found a straw and I added some color, but I didn't realize it didn't show. So I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, I found a straw and I decided to use a straw instead of lifting the page to my mouth. And that is basically it. I was trying to decide if to let the drips run down his face but then it kind of didn't and I didn't mind that so I just left it running around his head so that is basically it for my page oh I decided to add some white as well to highlight it to make it up a little brighter and the straw works really well <laughs> sorry the straw works really well and it also helps the paint dry faster so now i'm just giving it some splatters i love me some splatters and that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next challenge bye